What's going on folks? My name is Josh and I am the Outdoor Dude. Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about five baits every northern angler needs in their tackle box. So stick around. Alright, welcome back guys. Now we all know about those baits that are pretty universal that all over the country like Senkos, crankbaits, and jigs, right? We can all use them no matter where you are in the country. You just change up your color or maybe not even do that and it just they just catch fish wherever you are. There are some baits that most northern people fish with and some don't because they may not know about them but those of us who learn from our dads or our grandpas or older brothers or anything like that if you learn from somebody older than you in the north you've got these lures in your tackle box at least you should i'm not running this list in any specific order these are just go-to baits that every northern angler needs in their tackle box so let's get into it first up not the first not the number one not the number five just first up is the jerk bait Everybody knows what this is. Most of you southern guys, western guys, you know what the jerkbait is. You probably even fish it a lot. But being that the jerkbait is better used in cold water, it's very common in a northern tackle box. We like to run this a lot. If you don't know what the jerkbait is, this is a jerkbait. It's made out of balsa wood. It's floating lure. You get this thing down to depth and you just rip your rod, rip, rip, rip. If you've ever watched KVD fish, you've probably seen him fish the jerkbait. These are great in cold water, they're suspending, you put heavier hooks on it to suspend a little bit longer and sit there and float in colder water so you get longer pauses, longer twitches, better chance for that bass to hone in on it and strike when, when they're a little bit slow moving and fickle. A budget ended jerkbait, depending on how, like you, how you like to pronounce it, potato patata, but Rapala or Rapala, I run the Husky Jerk number 10 and this seems to work really, really good. Being that we're in the north, You'll get a lot of different species will strike this lure. You'll catch, you'll catch chain pickerel on this, you'll catch northern pike, you'll catch musky, you'll catch largemouth bass, and even smallmouth bass will strike. Great, great lure to have in your tackle box. Your box isn't complete without something like this. Whether you choose Rapala or the various other brands that are out there, every northern tackle box needs a jerk bait. Next up on every northern angler's tackle box list, it's the Gold Phoebe Spoon. And this thing is awesome. You run this in the lakes, in the rivers, and streams. This will nail you some trout. All species of trout will hit this. It's got a nice small hook on there. And it, it just spins in circles. They're, they're relatively cheap. It's a Phoebe spoon made by the Acme Bait Company. These things are awesome. And if you, if you fish different streams, like if you fish different stuff like I do up here in the north, and especially in upstate New York, 70,000 miles of rivers and streams and over 8,000 ponds and lakes and we have so many different species of fish up here I like to keep something like this always in my tackle box so I can fish different species on the fly Not literally fly fishing because I don't do that. That stuff is I don't have the patience for it more power to you If you do I don't next up on my list and me and my buddies call this one heavy artillery It's tried and true somewhat of a forgotten about lure but those of us in the north, we fish it, and we fish it a lot because of the walleye and um, the pickerel will bite this lure. The bass will even bite this lure. Um, we're going with just the basic lead head ball jig with the orange eye and the black, with the black dot eye and the orange around it. This is very specific. And I run the, run the Mr. Twister tail on there if you could see the logo. And you always want to run this, this with the curl facing down so it doesn't catch the hook when it's flipping around. And if you run it real slow, low and slow on the bottom, and just roll this, just crank it back to you, steady retrieve, this will kick up dust on the bottom and creates a little bit of a disturbance like a small fish swimming across the bottom. And you also can just bounce this jig back up and down, you get vertical, vertical jigging. As simple as it is, it's a very, very versatile bait should always have one of these in your tackle box. I've had a few days where I've gone out fishing with my buddies and the bass weren't hitting where we were. We didn't have a lot of gas to make it across the lake. We live on a big, or we live near a very big lake. Night a lake for all my locals. We didn't have enough gas to make it around the lake, so you pull one of these out, throw it around, and you will catch something. You catch, like I said, you'll catch pickerel, walleye, bass, anything on, on, a, anything on this lure. This is a great forgotten about lure. Every northern angler needs this guy in their tackle box. Next up, you may have seen this in one of my videos. I've uh, recently become a big fan of this. I've always had one, never really used it, um, especially in this color. 
I have it hooked up to a 10 inch steel leader for a reason, a 30 pound steel leader with a barrel swivel on it. And we're going to, next up on the list, we're going to be talking about the metallic perch colored little Clio. This thing is a beast. Pike and pickerel and even bass love this lure. Wherever the forage fish happens to be perch, this thing is going to kill it. They, Lil Cleo makes a ton of different colors in this model spoon. They have trout, random different colors that trout like to hit, and they have a ton, a ton, a ton of different variations of this lure. This thing is heavy artillery and a must have in the arsenal of any northern fisherman's tackle box. All right, guys, next up we have a fairly infamous lure in the north. All the way across the north, if you have northern pike, if you have the toothy critters, and even, even the bass really, really do like this lure. But if you've got muskie or pike, you know this lure and you've probably fished it before. But for those of you who haven't and you live in the south, maybe you don't have these kinds of fish wherever you live. Next up on my list is the Daredevil Spoon. The real Daredevil Spoon with the logo painted on it and the information punched in on the back. Dearborn, Michigan. Daredevil. IMP. This, this one is the real deal, not to be confused with the fake South Bend ones that have been sold. Now these will catch fish, they're okay, but they're not. They're a little different and they're just not as good. They're just not as good. Also, I'm going to pull out a relic right here. I don't even know if this company makes them anymore and it's one of my childhood lures that I retired and I do not fish this thing anymore. But she's all banged up, missing some hooks, they're a little bent. But she is the Mr. Twister spoon. But Mr. Twister made these spoons a long time ago and these things were awesome. I grew up fishing this in the creek that I now live near as an adult. And I, I've retired it because it's sentimental to me. I've caught a lot of fish on that lure. But any northerner knows watching this, the Daredevil Spoon is a heavy artillery lure when you're out on the lake, the rivers, or the creeks. Daredevil Spoon, guys, a must-have lure for every northern angler's tackle box. All right, folks, we're not done. We've got a surprise bait in the mix. And I, I felt, one, the video was a little bit short, and two, there's a very important bait that every northerner needs in their tackle box, and they'll just, they can have a great day of fishing throwing only this bait. And it's, this is also a forgotten about bait. I, I feel this is also a forgotten about bait. It's not fished nearly as much as it used to be, and it just kills it. The smallmouth and the largemouth alike love this lure, and the pike will also hit this as well. The not to be forgotten tube and a jig. Use one of these tube jig heads, and then you just slide that tube over the jig head, poke the, poke the eyelet through, and you bounce this thing across the bottom. Depending on depth and current, I'll fish different weights all the way up and down, but I love this size tube. I use the Zoom black and red 3.75 inch black and red glitter super salty tubes. And guys, these things are awesome. And even if I don't use the tube jig head, there is another way that I fish these and it takes a little bit of practice to rig it up right but I'll use an extra three uh, extra wide gap hook and I can rig these up somewhat weedless and tech expose the hook back in the bait that way it can come through grass a little bit better and when you do that and you fish this weed weedless and weightless it has a erratic jerkbait spoon like action and it has a slower rate of fall that the bass just love I fish it like that when I'm fishing for the largemouth and I fish it with the tube jig head when I'm fishing for the smallmouth. Little extra tip, that's number six on the list. Not number six, but it's the sixth bait I've showed you. That's an extra bait for the list, and I hope that helps you guys put more fish in your boat, more fish in your bucket, and more bucks in your pocket and save some money. 
Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. This is where I'm going to end the video. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you would like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you guys want any of the baits that you've seen in this video, I'm going to put the links in the description below. And full disclosure, I do make a small commission off of those links when you buy something from Amazon through those links. But it costs you nothing extra and it really helps me out and it helps me continue to do videos like this for you guys. So, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, see you next time.